If you have trouble managing your money, this next segment is for you. It's the best money advice you may ever get from Chris Hobart, president and CEO of Hobart Financial Group in Charlotte. Boy, are a lot of people interested in this segment. Chris, it's good to see you. Well, it's good to see you guys as well. The best financial advice you could ever get. Point number, that's a, that's a good claim. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I mean, there, there's going to be different levels. I mean, if you've got a billion or so dollars, this probably isn't going to fit for you. But this right. is more for regular folks. For okay. us, for all of us, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Real your, people. Your first point, you say money that you don't see you don't miss. Yeah, you know it's a basic concept, but the idea is just like with your 401k, if it comes out of your paycheck beforehand, it's not money you can spend. We need to do the same thing with our checking account. When we have money come in from our paychecks, have have an automatic withdrawal come out and plop it into a savings account. But here's the key. Make it a savings account that you can't touch. Make it something that you forget about. And after a while, it's just going to build up, build up, build up. And all of a sudden, you have this nice cushion of savings. And maybe one day, you'll get a statement and say, holy smokes, I did a good job. Look at okay. that. Okay. Some money. So make it a savings account you can't touch. Yeah. Very good. This is some great advice. Eat from your pantry or in freezer once or twice a month. Yeah. Well, you know, if you think about it, how often do you go out to eat and, and you go back home and you just have a bunch of stuff that you bought and you bought and you bought? What we recommend to folks is, uh, you know, going out to eat costs a lot of money. At least once or twice a month, let's get into the pantry and let's kind of do a clean out. You know, we've got a lot of stuff at our house that we just don't eat. And it's not because we, it, it's just we forget about mm -hmm. it. So yeah. get in there. It's going to save you a lot of money because buying stuff at the store is going to cost a lot less than going out to eat. I'm so guilty of that. My husband's oh, yeah. really good at that. He'll say, let's just eat what we have here. <laughs> and every time I imitate my husband, I do this weird voice and he totally doesn't talk like this. I don't know why I do that. Every you know, time. It, it, but he always it, says that. Let's eat what we have here. He's a little creepy, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's so Sorry. not. He's just so kidding. not creepy. Not not. <laughs> okay, you say snowflaking. Uh -huh. Snowflaking can work for anyone no matter how tight your finances. Right. What is that? Yeah, what does that what's mean? Yeah, what's snowflaking? Well, you know, if you think about it, sometimes people look to save money. They might cut coupons. They might uh, they might negotiate their bills down, things like that. But the savings just kind of disappears into into nowhere, and you really have no way of tracking that. So what we recommend people to do is, when you save money on coupons or, or negotiating, take that same money you saved and put it into a savings account. So dollar for dollar, penny for penny. Over time, you actually have a tangible amount that you can look at and say, "This is what happened. This is what I yes. built up because of that." And That's that, good. yeah, and then you go spend it on whatever you you want to because it's it's truly saved money. Oftentimes we try and save money, but we forget it. Uh, you, you know, it's yes. easy to to use a coupon or something and just ignore it. This is a great way to make it tangible. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's really oh, good. Yeah. Here's a cheerful one. Lower your expectations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Well, this is actually dating advice. That's and, uh, exactly. <laughs> that's my wife, I think, said, oh, lower my expectations. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, you know, I think, uh, I think we get to the point in life where sometimes we think we always deserve the greatest. And it's, mm -hmm. it's nice to think that, but we also have to be realistic about that. You know, our expectations set too high or thinking we always need the highest quality of everything. It, it costs more that way. Mm -hmm. It's okay to like that high dollar stuff, but let's also then reset our mindset on things that don't need to be the high quality. That's where we're going to start saving some money. So treat yourself a little on some things, but be realistic about the other side. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's all, but this is really the best financial advice well, see, I've ever received. It's basic seen. stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to make you a ton, but it's going to save you a ton. And over time, you know, we work with, with a lot of retirees. This is how they built up fortunes. They might not mm -hmm. have the fanciest stuff, but they've got great big bank accounts, which is terrific. Which is more important. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. You say don't forget to spend on joy. You know what? Sometimes, uh, sometimes we see people that all they do is they worry about saving, 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 and they don't actually enjoy it. The purpose of money, I firmly believe, is to be able to enjoy it with your family and your friends. You know, don't just sock it away and say we're not going on vacations. Really enjoy that money. Have a purpose for the money. Don't just one day save it all up pass away and, and leave it to the kids, mm -hmm. let's make sure we're actually enjoying it with the kids while we can see it being enjoyed with them. Mm. So. Negotiate. Are you talking about when you try to buy stuff? Negotiate <laughs> well, stuff? you know, really two, two types of negotiations. Some of your viewers are going to kind of be in a situation where they might have a late payment or two. Um, a lot of times you can call the companies that you might have a late payment where they give you a penalty and you can negotiate your way out of that. Say, you know, this just happened first time, second time. Can you forgive this? Most companies are going to forgive that. You know, and if it's a $35 fee, that's 35 bucks mm -hmm. that you can you can negotiate your way away from. The other is uh, what I prefer is negotiate your monthly bills, your reoccurring bills, your cable bill, your phone bill, your internet bill. Take an hour this week, call all those companies, and just try and get the best deal you can. This is then going to replicate every single month. For, from here on mm -hmm. out. So let's say you do that and you save between all those bills 100 bucks a month. But that's 100 this month, 
next month, and so on and so yes, forth. Sir. Uh, it's twelve hundred dollars in a year that you just saved. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Uh, you believe in setting a budget, set a monthly budget at the beginning of the month? Uh, yeah, you know what I say that, but uh, realistically, I can't set a budget myself. So I'm going to give you another trick uh, because I think this is more realistic for for what people are are looking to do. Mm -hmm. I keep a little notebook when I know my spending's gotten out of control. I take a little notebook and I write down every single thing that I spend money on. If it's a penny, if it's twenty dollars, if it's a hundred dollars, whatever it is, I write it down. I, I do that for a month. The reason I do that is number one, it helps me know exactly where I'm spending my money, mm -hmm. helps me set a future budget, but also I get tired by the end of the month writing down when I want a cup of coffee. So I just all of a sudden I just sit there and I say, geez, is is a minute of my time to write that down worth a cup of coffee. And sometimes I just go ahead and I start editing what I'm buying simply because I'm too lazy to write it down. So that's good. That's Laziness a good trick. can make you rich. There well, you go. And, and it also helps at the end of that month. You look at everything mm -hmm. that you're spending on. And you say, holy smokes, I spent all of that on coffee. Yeah. The easy way to fix that is say next month I'm going to spend half that on coffee. It's amazing mm -hmm. when you really track it and you see where your money goes. It's accountability. Yes. Uh, you know, it's very easy. It's that's with anything. You know, weight loss with money. Mm -hmm. If we if we're not accountable to somebody or something. Thing, it's it's easy to go so crazy. So true, uh, Chris Hobart. You, if you would like to contact him, you can visit HobartFinancialGroup.com, HobartFinancialGroup.com, or you can call 704-553-0123. Again, 704-553-0123. Nicely done, Chris. Thank you very Thanks, much. Chris. Appreciate it. <laughs>